Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'll be doing like some book cover inspired new art since I've read the Shadow and Bone trilogy recently and I really like that one. So I decided to do like some new art with it since yeah, they have like some pretty interesting creatures as well. And yeah, you can see them right here. It's a stag, a snake kind of creature and the firebird which will be really uh, interesting for my nails so I just decided to paint them on but in a bit a uh, bit more differently since otherwise it would turn out really bland and like kind of the same which I wasn't really going for and I still want to have like my own design involved as well since otherwise it would be yeah just the same and yeah, I felt like those were pretty hard to do as well, which would mean like I wouldn't get to show off as much of the color as I'm doing right now. And it just felt like that would be a bit boring. And that wasn't really what I was going for. So yeah, right now I'm painting on like the lightest shades for like my technique, which I'll be using for like getting that certain pattern that was on the books as well and so first I'll be going in with like my colors and putting them on the plastic mat which is mostly used for like papers in it but um, this way it's really nice to use it out as well and this was only my second try since you can see the red and yellow in on the side which was like for my prototype since I didn't know if it would turn out really nicely as well so that is why I wasn't still perfect at this one but I just kind of smeared it on whichever way I felt like it and whenever I wouldn't have that much um, color depth or when it starts to blend up too much then I would just pick up a new swipe and go in with that and yeah just create this design which uh, I feel like is really easy as well and yeah you really gotta be careful with like the colors and sometimes if you use too much of a dark color it will definitely take over the whole thing and right now i am going in with my favorite one this was uh the mint minty one which um yeah that one really turned out really nicely it did the darkest color didn't take over the whole Thing, which was really nice and I really love the gold in there as well even though it didn't really show up that much it was still there really nice and yeah here I'll be also going in with my dotting tool to create like these swirlies I had, I, I'm not quite sure why uh, that was shown in like a Sweda Sanders tutorial since yeah I don't really understand what, <laughs> what I'm doing here it's just like swooping it on and it's not actually that thick as well which is pretty nice Um, from all these color combinations this one was my least favorite mostly because the red really turned a bit more pinkish and it really took over like the orange and the yellow which didn't uh, show up that much but I still quite like um, how it all turned out together and 
yeah i think my brush also was a bit more stiff right here i don't really know why maybe it was just because of the acetone in there still and yeah then, this nail was just a bit more of a struggle <laughs> and then again th this one also turned up uh turned out a bit more pinkish kind of toned and the orange and the yellow were completely taken over by those colors which wasn't really what I was going for but that's why I go in with a bit more of the orange and the yellow so that would uh, come out a bit more too I let this dry for probably 20 minutes I think before applying my top coat because I was scared I would smudge it and right now it's just a bit more protected if it still wants to like smudge or do weird things when I apply like my black to create the creatures and I was at this point probably uh, still debating if I want to do the creatures because I didn't know for sure but I decided to do them anyway because um, yeah they were just really fun and interesting to look at so here I'll be drawing on the Mora Morozova stag which is like a lovely creature yeah which has these beautiful antlers which I drew on I kind of went my own way with like the antlers i just drew them out on a piece of paper and decided well i'm just going to do that because they look cute that way and yeah these were uh, quite tricky quite tricky because you have to kind of make them symmetrical on the other side as well which is a bit harder for me i don't know but curving that way around is just a bit a bit difficult for some reason for me <laughs> at least but uh, it still turned out really pretty and yeah I, sh I really like them So right now I'm drawing on Rosalie, which um, is like the snake kind of creature which lives in the sea. And yeah, I went actually a bit more with like other book cover for this one since that one was a bit more swirly and had like these pointy things on his neck, which um, I didn't see in like this one, but still looks really cute as well and as of right now i'm drawing on like the firebird which was probably the most trickiest of them all since i don't really draw to draw birds and then again the wings are really hard for me to draw since i really don't do them often and yeah, it's just a bit more harder that way but they still turn out really cute i think and not that bad actually i like this ring wing better than the other one but yeah things can al not always look perfectly in one go so just gotta deal with it I still really like how this one turned out and yeah as you can also see my pinky and my thumb were like covered already in like some nail polish I wasn't sure how to tie it in since I've used like 
blue, greenish and reddish shades of color and it's really hard to like tie it in then so I decided to like put on a black which was uh, one of the colors I was already like thinking about putting on there but I felt like just solid black would look a bit bland and dull so I decided to dry brush some gold on as well which turned out really pretty and yeah also created this thing I was going for since the darkling in the book it has like these shadow powers and Alina has these she's a sun summoner so yeah that tied it in really nicely So this is already the end of this video, thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time, bye!